most frequently asked question that I get in the hand warmer forum is why does my Zippo still not perform well even though I replaced the catalyst and indeed although it's a very popular product in my experience the Zippo does not perform as well as hand warmers that cost a fraction of the price say such as this Chinese butterfly uh, this one which I think we called uh, randomly the uh, the red star and indeed even this small tiny portable one they all in my experience work in the long run better than the Zippo does and that becomes frustrating for people that have just gone to all the trouble to replace the catalyst in their Zippos. This is the catalyst head and uh, it sits on top of the reservoir and this catalyst head depends upon the evaporation of fumes to move up into it to support the exothermic reaction that creates the heat. Remember you're not burning you're having a exothermic reaction that creates heat. So when a hand warmer reservoir has sufficient heat to start the evaporation of the liquid fuel that's in here it needs that heat to be maintained to keep the fumes gassing up into the catalyst head through this neck here so this whole process you could think would be analogous to the stack on your chimney except you don't have a vent in order to support convection of airflow through the stack and into the catalyst head. So why does a cheap Chinese hand warmer such as this butterfly seem to work better than the more popular Zippo that is marketed all over the world? In physics there is a principle called the thermal flywheel effect. For example when external temperatures in your jacket pocket are fluctuating throughout the day a large thermal mass within the insulation portion of your pocket can serve to flatten out the temperature fluctuations that affect these hand warmers. Now this Zippo reservoir, because this is the part we're concerned with, forget about the cap, which just basically stops you from burning your finger and knocking the catalyst head off. Again, this Zippo reservoir weighs 54 grams. This butterfly reservoir weighs 70 grams. So therefore, this Zippo has about 33% less mass than this butterfly. And also, because the Zippo reservoir here is thinner, the volume of fuel that it can store is less. Now with any liquid fuel hand warmer, the secret to success is pre-warming it before you activate it and then keeping that warmth consistent and available to the hand warmer while you're using it in the field. So bear that in mind when you're looking at using your Zippo and give that even more importance as opposed to when you're using something like this uh, super huge heat giant here uh, which is incredible in terms of the amount of heat that that guy gives off as opposed to something like this.